Welcome to our lecture, the TM visa requirements, and NAFTA work permit as a professional. The requirements to get a TM visa work permit will be you must be a citizen of the US or Mexico. Your profession or occupation must be listed in the NAFTA. You must have a job or contract in Canada. You must apply for the correct length of work permit. You should apply to the correct visa office. You must have the correct supporting documentation. You must be entering Canada on a temporary basis. Um, more than 60 different professional occupations are eligible to qualify under the NAFTA professional designation. Professionals requesting entry to Canada via this Canada work permit must demonstrate they are qualified to work in their profession and must only perform work related to their profession while in Canada. You will need proof of credentials and or work experience that is required. Benefits of the TM visa. One of the benefits of applying for the NAFTA professional work permit is that applicants are exempt from the labor market input assessment requirement. Further, professionals who are destined to work in Quebec are also exempt from the Quebec acceptance certificate, CAQ requirement. NAFTA professional work permits are only for individuals entering the Canadian labor market temporarily, and the work permit cannot be longer than three years in duration. So this type of work permit is limited to three years only. If you want something beyond that, then you need to look for another uh, choice. But for the NAFTA, the limit is three years. Qualifying professionals may apply for the NAFTA professional work permit at a Canadian visa office before entering Canada. However, they may also apply at the Canadian port of entry in certain circumstances. And for that, we need to go into details with the website of the Government of Canada. NAFTA professionals applicants must be prepared to provide all required documentation when applying at a Canadian border. And there are always conditions related to this, okay? Now, let's check the professions. And the NAFTA general professions are interior designer, land surveyor, landscape architect, lawyer, including notary in the province of Quebec, librarian, management consultant, mathematician, including statistician, range manager, range conservationist, research assistant, working in a post-secondary educational institution, accountant, architect, computer system analyst, disaster relief insurance claims adjuster, economist, engineer, Forester, graphic designer, hotel manager, industrial designer. Now, when it comes to NAFTA scientific professions, we can find the technician and technologist, social worker, civil culturist, including forestry specialist, technical publications writer, urban planners, that include geographers, and vocational counselor. In the medical field, the NAFTA medical allied professional include occupations like dentist, dietitian, medical laboratory technologist in Canada, medical technologist in Mexico and the United States, nutritionist, occupational therapist, pharmacist, physician teaching or research only, physiotherapists and physical therapists, psychologists, recreational therapists, registered nurse, veterinarian, and for the NAFTA scientific professional, we can find geophysicists, including oceanographer in Mexico and the United States, horticulturists, meteorologists, pharmacologists, physicists, including oceanographers in Canada, plant breeder, and zoologists. And also we can find agriculturists, including agronomists, animal breeder, 
animal scientist, apiculturist, astronomer, biochemist, biologist, chemist, dairy scientist, entomologist, epidemiologist, geneticist, geologist, geochemist, poultry scientist, and finally soil scientist. And we have also an option for teachers in, on the NASTA that apply for college, seminary, and university. So these are all the occupations covered under the TN work permit visa. So please take a look and if one of your occupation is included and you live in one of the countries part of the NAFTA agreement, then you can take a look at the opportunity you can find you're going to come and work in Canada. This is the end of the lecture and thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one.